Hi, now here's a summary exercise that you might like to try if you've watched the previous video tutorial on how we go about simplifying these kind of expressions. Okay, well I'll give you a moment or two just to uh, pause the video. When you come back, we'll run through the work solutions. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all then, here we've got x cubed all to the power 4. So what would the answer be for something like this? Well, x cubed is repeated four times over. Remember I showed you that all you had to do was just multiply these powers together. So you've got x to the power 3 times 4, which is x to the power 12. For number 2, we've got to be careful here. We've got 4 that is squared. 4 squared is going to be 16. And then we've got x cubed all squared. That's x cubed times x cubed, which is x to the power 6. We just multiply those two powers together, 3 times 2. In the next one, number 3, x squared y cubed all to the power 5. We've got x squared to the power 5, so that's going to be x to the power 10. That's 2 times the 5. And then y cubed to the power 5, well that's going to be y to the power 15 the 3 times the 5. And in number 4, we've got 4x to the power 5 y cubed, which is all cubed. So you're going to have 4, which is cubed. 4 cubed, 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. Then you've got x to the power 5 all cubed. So that's going to be x to the power 15, 5 times the 3 there. and Finally, y cubed, all cubed, is going to be y to the power 9, 3 times 3 there. Okay, so hope you're able to get those. Remember, you can always go back and check how to do these if you're stuck by looking at the previous video on this. Okay.